Hello everyone and welcome back. In this part we're going to continue our face rigging journey. And in this part we're going to continue with the eyes. Uh, just because we did the eyelids last time we might as well go ahead and do the eyebrows. So, the eyebrows we want to start off by grabbing these bones for the rig, shifty and duplicating and just moving them up. Probably make them a bit bigger. Maybe not that big. Something like that. And uh, these control shapes are actually just fine. So, and you can see they're they're bigger, so you can kind of guess which which they're for. So, we want the eyelids to be able to rotate them. So, we want to unlock these. Now, control tab goes to the face here go to your object data properties all right so we have all these control shapes we have eyebrow down left eyebrow down R, angry confused worried and we're gonna map all of these to this right here so what we're gonna do is we're going to add a driver so just right click on this and click add driver. Next you want to go to edit driver and you should have this mini window pop up. You want to go here change this to average value. You want to select Sonic's rig. You want to go to the bone and we're going to make sure these, uh, we, we probably didn't I don't remember if I named these, so we're going to go ahead and name the bones. Yep, we did not, so we're going to call these eyebrow, ctrl, dot l, and then we'll control c, and then control v with the r. Now we go back and go to edit driver. We can select the bone and select it properly. We want this to be on the Y location. The Y location is the bone's Y location, so we're going to change this to local space. Uh, and then we're going to update the dependencies and show in the driver's editor. Next, we're going to click on key 02. This is the shape key. And then we're going to click on the value. Next we go to modifiers, we're going to want to add a modifier and a generator. Now, before we do anything else with this, we want to see how this is moving. So let's grab, hit Y twice to make sure it's moving on the Y, and there we go. So it's moving in the reverse direction, so we move it up, the eyelid goes down. We want it to be the reverse, so when we move this down, we want the eyelid to go down. So to do that. We can actually, now with our mess selected, we can just go here and do this. So, uh, for this, we want to change this to negative one. Now, when we move the eyebrow bone, the eyebrow starts to move down. However, you see it's taking forever to really catch up with the bone. The bone has to move a whole lot before we get the shape. And we essentially want this eyebrow bone to look like it's pushing the eyebrow down so okay, go here go back to edit uh, drivers you want to show in the drivers editor and what you want to do with this modifier here is increase or decrease the value so instead of negative 1 we want it to be something like negative 15 that makes that curve steeper we go here and you see now the bone is essentially pushing the eyelid down, which is what we want. Just like that. So, how do we get this driver on the other bone, or the other shape key? Well, you can right click and copy driver, and then right click and paste it. Then go open your driver's editor. 
click on the new driver you just created go to drivers here and change the bone to the R this is why it's important to name your bones and everything should be Gucci now see so uh, we're essentially gonna do that for all the other shape keys so for angry we're gonna add a driver we're gonna make this Sonic's rig For this, for angry, we're probably gonna want it to be on the y, on the Z rotation. So we're gonna change this to Z rotation, and we're gonna make this the local space. We're gonna update dri to update dependencies and show in the drivers editor. Select angry. Go to modifiers. Add a modifier generator now to test it we have to see what direction it's going to work in so let's rotate it on the z-axis specifically and so nothing's happening so, I'm going to... so i figured out what the issue is i did not add the eyebrow bone so make sure you add the bone specifically to what you're going to do and add your generator and that should actually have it work so you don't have to do anything else so once you rotate it boom it works then you control or you know not control C but you copy the driver and then you paste the driver go into the drivers editor and you change the bone And before we call that good, it might be rotating on the other way. So you want to turn this to negative one in your properties here. So go to your modifiers, change this to the gate of one. There we go. So as you can see now, the bone. there we go so next we do the confused look now for confused so we have we have the eyebrow down as just the up and down motion we have the angry as the rotation motion I'm thinking for confused I'm thinking for confused we can rotate it we can rotate the bones this way and then for uh, worried we can scale the bones so let's go on ahead and do that let's add a driver average value sonics rig bone make sure you do the eyebrow and for this we're doing a Z rotation again and we're doing it in local space and you want to show the drivers editor grab the confused driver go to modifiers add a generator and I should probably be negative one just taking a guess at that There we go. I was right. So, there you go. That's confused. So, we can control tab, grab this, go to confused, copy, paste, open in drivers editor, change the bone from L to R. Go to modifiers and turn this to one. Yes, that's perfect.
perfect. And then for worried. Driver, average value, Sonic, brown. We're gonna make this the X scale on local space. Now for this one, because it's the scale, we have to do something extra with it. So when we go to our modifier, let's, let's click on the when we go to our modifier and add our generator what we need to do is add a negative one on top of this so we have negative one we have one and the reason we want to do that is uh, as you as you can see before if we just go back to zero the driver is fully activated and I think this is unique to the scale property when you want a driver to be active on another object scale you have to uh, average it out with the negative one on the Y. I don't understand why that is specifically, but it, when I was making this, that's what you had to do. So when we scale it on the X axis, right, let's, uh, let's turn on the X axis scaling. When we scale it on the X axis, boom, it works. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. And so let's copy this driver paste it open in the drivers editor and change the eyebrow and this should work too And we can probably make it so that when we scale it, you know, we can wait so we don't have to scale it so much. So let's go back here and let's open up the driver's editor again. So for this one, instead of, we're going to make this, so instead of negative one and one, we're going to make this negative five and five. And then for this one, we're going to do the same thing. There we go. Just so that we don't have to scale it so much. It can be gradual. Or it can be a lot less obvious. So, there we go, guys. We now have a rig for our eyes. Now, one thing. So these, so these two eyebrow bones are still parented to this one. We want to... We want that to not be the case, so we'll select these and parent them back to the head. So now when these move, the eyelids close, and we can manipulate the eyeballs, or the eye, uh, the, uh, you know, the eyelids, or the, the eyebrows. Yeah, no, these are the eyebrows. Yeah, we can manipulate the eyebrows. And one last thing, because we're getting a little bit of peek through on some of those shapes. We're going to go to the basis, and we're just going to, with the x-axis turned on, we're just going to scale these up with proportional editing. And we're going to Alt-S scale them up on, along the normal so that they, they raise off the surface. That's what you want. Now let's... Do some testing. There we go. That's what we want. Perfect. And so, if we go to shading, uh, we have to change the color of our eyelids. Um, and how long have I been recording? Oh, we can do that now. So, let's grab the eyelids 
and go to UV editing. So this is where they are. Open your texture and you want to want to assign this to the sonic material and let's go back to rendered. that's way better so there we go we have we have every almost everything we so we got the eyelids, we got the eyebrows, so now he can be even more expressive. like what the cuss are you talking about <laughs> uh, so there we go guys uh, and then the other thing I want to do is uh, just get rid of all these here and we're just gonna move them to a different layer because uh, now that our rig is getting finalized we're not really gonna be manipulating these because they have physics on them if we do manipulate them, it'll probably be from here, and since that's the case, uh, we're not going to worry about it too much. We're going to control C this, and control V it over here, and there we go. So, now Sonic's, um, Sonic's eyelids and his eyebrows are officially rigged. So. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment, do all the things. Please engage with the video to show YouTube that these videos are actually good and that people enjoy watching them. Uh, please, uh, that'll uh, entice me to make more. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys and y'all have a good one.